Hi, this is Kenny Shea speaking. I'm from the Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this section, um, unit uh, beyond, we're going to talk about all different kind of uh, causes of cell voltage loss. In this unit, particularly, we'll deal with uh, activation over potential. The activation over potential is the elect electro potential loss due to electro activity. Um, maybe uh, because the low surface area or the catalyst get poisoned or uh, use a less active the electro. And uh, so if you want to reach a certain amount of current, then the voltage loss is much larger due to the electro activity. This one is a. Uh, before we're doing that, we refresh what the voltage and the electro potential. As we mentioned in the previous unit, uh, we're talking about the electro potential. For instance, this is the cathode potential, this is the anode potential, and this is the potential at the equilibrium, the cathode potential at the equilibrium, and this is the uh, anode potential at the equilibrium. So ideal case, ideally, uh, the electro potential should be remain constant at a different current density. You, we saw the higher current density should be remained. But unfortunately, because of some different kind of over potential, over potential loss and make the voltage change as you get a higher current density, the voltage change is getting bigger. The difference between the electro potential from the original at the equilibrium potential that's called the over potential so the castle had a castle over potential and the anode had its own anode potential this is the potential curve uh, during the bat uh, battery or the fuel cell discharged when if you consider a secondary battery and uh, during the the charge period they will be different. This only at the discharge period. So you get a higher current density, you got a, um, the cathode potential will drop and the anode potential will be rise. The difference between the cathode potential and the anode potential is just called a cell voltage. Usually we, we measure uh, the cell voltage against current. That's what it come out. And in ideally, the voltage should be remain constant at a different current density, but uh, because the over potential loss, so cost is a cell voltage drop. This is uh, the, like a fuel cell discharge output energy or the battery output energy. But uh, when the battery, the, like a secondary battery, like the ad, lead acid battery or lithium ion battery, uh, they can be charged. We call that is a secondary battery. They can charge and discharge. In that case, uh, you get a high, during the charge cycle, you get a higher current density, the cell voltage actually going up. But uh, the same, when they're doing the discharge, the cell voltage always going down at a high current density. And then the cell voltage loss, there's many different kind of situation. In this unit, we'll talk about the activation of potential. It's simply due to the electrokinetics, um, the electrical activity, and cause the voltage loss. So, so this way, the cell voltage is equal to the cathode potential minus the anode potential. So we can write as the E cell minus phi C, the cathode potential, and the phi A, the anode potential. And from previous unit, we we'll talk about the uh, TAFO equation. We, we can express those uh, electro potential as a function of current density using the TAFO equation. So this is the TAFO equation, and this is the exchanging current density, and this is the charge transfer coefficient, and this is the cell electro potential at the equilibrium and the, of the castle, and this is the anode. And this is the anode current exchanging current density, and this is the anode charge transfer coefficient here. 
So the castle potential we can express use the castle tuffle equation, and the anode potential can be expressed by the tuffle equation of the anode. And uh, we can combine these two because since it's at a reversible potential, so this means at a current equal to zero. In that case, the diff the we can lump this together, these two turn into here, and this one and this one separate over the other turn. So this one uh, at the equivalent the current density equal to zero. This means at an open circle voltage. This becomes called the open circle voltage or the cell voltage at the equilibrium. And uh, this is a cancel the uh, voltage loss and this is on the end of voltage loss. And uh, for the pen fuel cell, proton exchange membrane fuel cell, the hydrogen oxidation, hydrogen reaction on the end is very fast. So that means the exchanging current density of the anode is very much larger than the, on the cathode side, maybe about the three order of magnitude larger. So in this case, uh, a lot of situation, this term can be eliminated. And uh, the uh, pen fuel cell, especially with the hydrogen feed, the cell voltage can be expressed as a function of current density by this equation. And many is due to the cathode reduction reaction. This means oxygen reduction reaction is a major cause of the cell voltage loss in the activation over potential sense. That's why a lot of research uh, deal with oxygen reduction reaction rather than the hydrogen oxidation reaction because uh, the key is because oxygen reduction reaction is a major cause of the activation over potential loss rather than the hydrogen side. So the cell voltage can be expressed as uh, the TAFO equation. And uh, this equation can be rearranged. And uh, the delta VACT is the activation, uh, the cell voltage loss due to the activation over potential. And it can be uh, equal to the C E cell minus ER. And uh, we can rearrange, and equal to this term and then exchanging current density can be separate from the current and then we end with this equation. Since the alpha f and i0 is a constant, exchanging current density and the charge transfer coefficient, they are constant. So we can lump this as a constant a and this is a constant b over here and then multiply log i. And then notice over here the the current here, we use the absolute symbol because uh, the log log cannot be have a negative or zero number inside the log argument. So we had to use the absolute value. Be uh, even though the direction, the current density may be positive or negative, depends on the direction is a uh, reduction or oxidation. But in a tuple plot, the current density is always take the absolute value. That means always be positive. And so the activation over the cell voltage loss uh, due to activation can be uh, simplified as this equation, A minus B log I. This we plot, um, the, this uh, activation over potential is due to catalyst activity. And then the catalyst activity can be attributed to electro surface area. If you had a catalyst with a high surface area, then this one, the activation over potential become less because I zero here become larger um, over here. And then the catalyst or depends on you use a more active catalyst or less active catalyst or the electro composition also will be affect. For instance, the pH, all those kind of things. So from this equation, if we we gather the experiment data, you can plot the the cell voltage loss against uh, current log this and current density. Then we should get a straight line from this equation. And uh, 
at the intercept of the when the activation opportunity equal to zero uh, over here we end with this turn over here you can find out from here you can find out the exchanging current density the the location of the exchanging current density and then from the slope equal to this turn or the B value and if we know the temperature then you can evaluate the charge transfer coefficient from here so by plus this one you can get all the kinetic parameter alpha f and i0 from here from this plot if you plot this one in center log this and scale over here the current you put a linear scale then that's a, a unique characteristic of the activation over potential or the voltage loss due to activation over potential is at a smaller current density region it change a lot drop very quickly but at a higher current density region it drop much slowly that's because one is due to the log reason the nature of the log reason nature so at a, the small current density region was affected by the act catalyst activity is uh, significant but uh, at a longer larger current density range uh, it seems to be less uh, inference but also it's a kind of like linear so sometimes people might mistaken is a uh, internal resistance but actually it's a uh, just because activation over potential at a higher current density is a behavior like a linear but it's not 